What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be going over an instant snow and an instant coin making method. You can use it over and over again in order to have a lot more coins than you started off with and a lot more snow for presents or rerolls. Drop a like on the video if you new. Hit that red subscribe button. Turn your notifications on. All that is free and let's get into today's breakdown. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is look in my binder. I started out about two days ago with 125,000 coins. Now, you can go back and watch the previous videos and you will look at my coin count. I started off with the 94 overall Cam Newton. Quick sold him for training, re-roll him with 100,000 coins and I slowly went up to about 450,000 coins. Now I am currently at 568,000 coins with no training, 5,000 snowflakes. But if you look in my binder, you can see I have a lot of profit. This is all from last night's reroll, the method that I'm going to show you in this video. Watch the entire video. You can see we got some 89s right here. We also pull a 265k limited 288,000 coins right there so you're gonna get the opportunity to hit big in this we also did pull a 91 we pulled like 389 so we have enough to make another set so step number one is you want to try to find you 290 overalls for as cheap as possible 290 overalls the reason why i say 290 overalls is because you want to try to make sure that when you are using the rolling technique that you are getting profit no matter what so if you go right here to the 90 overalls and you can get them between 55 and 58k that's going to be a good pool but for this video i'm just going to have to go because i don't want to take too much time and i might have to grab somebody for 60,000. that would be 60,000, 60,000, 120,000 worth of training now let's go over here to the auction block it's important for you to go to the auction block before you start this to get an idea of what stocking stuffer you want to make and so you can sell this brain allen for about 130k then you can come down here to Isaiah Wynn, who is another good one for 130K. So a lot of them is going to be 130K-ish, 128K-ish. So when you are buying your training, you are trying to stay around that area when you snipe it. So once I make the stock and stuffer, that's going to put me back even or one or two thousand coin profit depending on when you snipe before so if you can snipe these 290s in the 50 thousands then you're going to have even more profit if you can get 290 overalls for 56k you're going to be at about 112k okay so you're going to sell it for 124 to 128k 130k you're going to be making about 7 to 10 K profit already by making the stock and stuffer so when you are making these stock and stuffers try to look for the theme teams that's most likely wanted so Dallas Cowboys uh, San Francisco the Jets the Raiders all that so we're gonna go right here to Brandon Parker you're gonna get his power up which is kind of low right now you can sell it between 3 and 6 K but you're gonna be able to sell these cards for about 130 K so we'll go here with the rolls that I did before, we got all these 89 overalls. And right here, we're going to put all these into the set. So 287. So I got enough to do this almost two times. And then I can roll, get a couple more cards, and be able to finish this probably another time. So that's going to be almost 300K on top of I pulled a 91. I pulled a limited. So all that is just guaranteed profit. So we're going right here. Put all these 83s in. Now, if you don't have a bunch of 83s like this, you can take your 78s and 79s and then you can make 83s. So we just finished a Brandon Parker stocking stuffer set. So we're going to get the card. We're going to get the power up. Now we can turn around and sell this card 
boom, 125K he just sold for. So we'll do 125, 200. Okay, so the next one was 129. So we're going to do 127. Put them right in between the 125, 129. So that's going to pay for the training that I'm using for my free 10 roll. I'm going to do this two times, the training two times, and then before it starts giving me a whole bunch of golds, I'm going to go to the snowflakes. So I'm going to bounce back and forth. So there's a 78 right there. Now I'm going to come over here to the snowflakes. One of these packs is going to be hitting. The reason behind having the training is once you spend the 120000 to get the training, that's going to give you a meter of where you need to be at as far as making profit. So if you know that you spent 115 to 120,000 coins in order to make it as we get an 85 right there, that lets you know that by getting your stocking stuffer fulfilled that you broke even on that. Everything after that will be profit as long as you are not spending coins on getting your snow. So an 83 right there. Now we're gonna do it again. It got off of the golds. So we're gonna keep on all right, so there's our first 89 pool right there. So I was gonna move off of the uh, snowflakes, but the snowflakes are a little more heated up than the training. So we got a couple 83s, then we got our first 89, which is good for us to make the set. Now we back to the 83, so now we're gonna come over to training again. And you can see my card already just sold. I'm back up to 561K around where I started. So now we're gonna play around with these snowflakes for a little bit. And then we're gonna go in the binder and see what all we got. So I didn't get that many high pools, not that many 89s, not that many 91s. We got a couple 85s, we did get an 89. So we're gonna go to the binder overall after rolling the snowflakes, rolling the uh, training. And we're gonna look at what we pull. Now this was, the worst case scenario on what you can get all these 78s and 79s you can use for the exchange all these 83s but usually you get more 89 overalls if you can get 289 overalls in your pools that's the reason why if you have at least 200k snow that's going to give you another 10 to 11 roll so i can come right here to stocking stuffers and i can see how far away i am from making another one so as you can see, I got every one of these cards right here, minus these two. So 287s, after that reroll, 17K, you could probably snipe it for 15, 16K. So 30K coins away from making another stocking stalker. And that was the worst roll possibility that I just showed you. I got every one of these cards by pulling all these 83s and the low overalls, minus 25 to 30K coins. So. From all my profit that I got, I could spend 30,000 coins, make another stocking stuffer. You know my stocking stuffer just sold already. I'm at 561, I was back into the 400s. I can take 30,000 off of that, be down to about 525, 530, sell this stocking stuffer, and then get up another 100,000 profit off of the stocking stuffer without having to do anything. And it's gonna put me up another 95 to 100 thousand coins so whichever one of these we want to make who we're going to make this time we're going to do the tight end probably get 125 130 thousand from him boom put him into the set we got lucky and pulled the 89 as long as you pull one or two 89s you're going to have an opportunity to make one or two of these cards that's going to be 125 130k profit every time as long as this set right here that i am doing is at least 120 thousand coins you got a chance to always make profit, okay? So every day that you look in these cards, these stocking stuffers are going for at least 120K, you have an opportunity to make profit. No matter what these other cards go down to, we're gonna put him into the set. Now we just made our second stocking stuff. And you can also quick sell them for uh, Snowflake. So 127 right there, boom. Another profit. He just sold for 128. We're going to jump on that ship right there. Then we also have the power up. So that's going to put us at 620, 628 ish. And then we still got this extra 2200 that we can do just to make up any lost costs. Put them up for 2300. And then this is all profit. We're going to go to our binder. Now, your re rolls would be more like my re roll was yesterday, but. This was a terrible reroll, so this is not what you should be expecting. A lot of y'all will get lucky, pull two, maybe three limiteds. My coin count just jumped up super duper fast. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna get the rest of our stuff sold off. So 
we're gonna go down here to newest so all this right here is extra snow and extra profit that you can accumulate to do the rolls again or you can accumulate to do another build up so if I come right here to my limited I sell him off 284 he went up to so we're gonna do 283 he just sold for 284 six minutes ago so we're gonna do 284 try to jump on that ship that'll put us over 800k without having to do anything we also have this Garoppolo so if we was to sell quick sell the Garoppolo we got a chance to pull another limit with 64,000 snow so that's more rerolls we can do so we're gonna go right here we're gonna sell this card off that we made how much is he going for because we already over 800,000 so 300 K he just sold so 300 K 301 302 so we're gonna put him for 301 once the lowest one gets sold then mine will be up next so that's 301 K right there plus we have him up for another 280 K that's gonna put me over a million so once I go over a million coins I will take about a hundred and fifty thousand quick sell that for snow and then go back up and roll for a bigger sample size if y'all enjoyed the video drop a like on the video hit that red subscribe button right now and I see y'all in 24 hours with another Madden 22 coin making tip or defensive lockdown let's go